We're learning more about what happened during a deadly school shooting at Perry High School back in January. Just hours ago, the Dallas County Attorney's Office released the details of its investigation. According to its findings, the shooting lasted less than five minutes. In that time, the shooter, 17-year-old Dylan Butler, killed 11-year-old Amir Joliff and shot Principal Dan Marburger. Marburger died from his injuries 10 days later. Six others were injured and Butler took his own life. Local 5's Dana Searles has been digging into the report all night and brings us the timeline of events. Dana. Well, Larissa, the Dallas County Attorney's Office found that Dylan Butler acted alone and no charges will be filed against anyone. The report says Butler took significant time and preparation for the attack on his own school, but none of the victims were purposely targeted. The shotgun was not given to him and he took it from outside his home without permission. Here's a timeline of how the tragedy unfolded. All it took was four minutes and 21 seconds for lives to be changed forever in Perry, Iowa. The Dallas County Attorney's Office laid out a timeline in its report. The report says Dylan Butler walked through the main entrance of Perry High School at 712 AM with a shotgun, revolver, a knife and an improvised explosive device. He went straight to the bathroom. 20 minutes later at 7.34 a.m., the 17-year-old started a live stream on social media and then fired the first of 23 shots. The first shot struck and killed 11-year-old Amir Jolliffe. It was in a common area with over 50 students. Within 10 seconds of the first shot, Assistant Principal Brad Snowgren activated the school's emergency alert response system that alerted first responders. A 911 call was also made by a student in the school. Butler fired his final shot at 7.36 a.m., striking Principal Dan Marburger again as Marburger tried to stop Butler for the third time. The first law enforcement officer arrived at the scene at 7.37 a.m. That was two minutes and 59 seconds after the first shot was fired. Then Butler took his own life at 7.39 a.m. Butler was found by police a minute later. The attorney's office also says Butler's actions were, quote, driven by a desire to commit suicide with the hostile intent of taking others with him, adding that Butler likely showed warning signs that were unrecognized or unreported. Larissa.